Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys. This is another episode of the OpenGL 3D renderer series and in this video we are finally going to load our model from a actual file like uh, uh, you know something like a, an FBX file or an object file like uh, you know wavefront object file or any other 3D file format uh, like uh, you know there are a bunch of different file formats and uh, we are going to learn how to load those file formats and the way we will learn that is by using an external library called asimp so asimp is uh, short for asset importer and uh, what that does is that it basically makes our life a lot easier by providing methods for loading 3d models from a variety of different kinds of files so yeah that is what we are going to learn how to do in then this video and uh, in this video we have uh, already gone ahead and uh, i have already gone ahead and installed sfml uh, sorry not sfml uh, asimp using uh, uh, vc package so i recommend you do the same or you can build it yourself if you really want to and anyways after you have got that setup we should be able to include its header and since i'm using vc package it will kind of set our headers and uh, also library for me so all i need to do is uh, get started writing code using that library so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to include the headers and all of my headers are in the asimp folder for the asimp and uh, in here let's start by including the scene.h header and uh, this is basically the c api of asimp and uh, we'll also need to include importer.h now this HPP file is the actual C++ API and uh, the scene.h and all of the other files contain stuff that can apply to both C and C++. There is also a separate C API for actually loading this um, because you know you can't create a scene directly for that you use either the C++ or C API. We are using the C++ one. So we are going to create an asim colon colon importer called importer and actually the constructor is not supposed to use a constructor. Instead we must call a method which is the read file method and in here we will pass in uh, the file name dot uh, uh, well actually that's the file name and uh, we also need to pass it some flags and uh, in order to get those flags uh, that would basically represent uh, like uh, what we want to be done on this file any additional stuff you might just pass zero here but we do want to uh, put some flags there so first we'll do is we'll uh, go up here and in order to use the flags we'll include another header called asim slash post process uh, asim slash post process dot h and what we are going to do is we are going to go here and use the flags here which is going to be ai uh, actually ai and uh, process uh, post not post process ai process underscore and uh, the flag that we want to use here is the underscore triangulate flag mm, the reason is that you you know that we are basically having our mesh and model kind of be it's in a way that it draws only triangles so we want to make sure that we only have triangles here and nothing else so yeah this this flag basically tells it that every mesh that's not a triangle convert it to triangles so after we have done that the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, try to see if our scene loading is valid or not for that uh, we basically use the imported dot scene property so you might say if imported dot uh, uh, get scene uh, importer uh, dot uh, get scene here uh, there should be a get scene function yeah you can see that so you can use that one but uh, we are going to store the scene in a variable so in here I'm going to create an AI scene pointer uh, called scene which we are going to set to importer dot scene so just say importer dot uh, scene and uh, yeah get scene actually not the scene and in here what we are going to do is uh, if the scene is null which uh, means not seen which means it's of course invalid or the scene's root node is null which we'll get in a second uh, we'll just say m root node here and we'll get to the meanings of this in a second and uh, there can also be some invalid flags on the scene so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and say scene get flags uh, m flags actually and say and this and single and means it's going to check bitwise and which will basically tell us if this flag is active or not so if the ai scene flags incomplete flag is active that means this scene is incomplete which means we should not uh, load it so now here what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, output some kind of uh, error message to the user so uh, I, you can see I have uh, included iStream and uh, basically I'm saying error fail to load this and after that we can just return. Now in order to actually read the 
data for different kind of stuff we need to understand how asim stores this data so basically in a 3d model everything is arranged as a tree of nodes so the scene has a root node if that root node is invalid the scene contains nothing and it's basically a wrong scene which means loading failed so we'll give an error if the scene even if the scene does not contain any objects it will always contain at least a root node if it's loaded uh, correctly without any problems and that root node each will have uh, like a bunch of child nodes and each of those child nodes will have their own nodes and this will go on like that and basically we'll have a hierarchy of nodes here and uh, in order to get those nodes we are going to use recursion here so since we actually don't know like uh, how deep this tree is going to go we are going to use recursion to kind of do that so uh, in here we can create like a bunch of private helper methods for example we can create a function for processing a node and that function will begin by processing the root node and then it will process more nodes and uh, like more and more nodes so process node will call itself again and again for each child node so let's go and try to do the process node function and see if it goes well or not so in here we are going to go ahead and create a private function for utility called the process node which will take an ai node and of course we want to make sure we include this asm.scene.asm uh, slash scene.h inside of here as well so uh, like the node file is actually defined in the scene if i am not wrong so we are going to just include asm slash scene.h and here we can just take in an ai node pointer called the uh, node and uh, we are also going to take a matrix for called transformation since each node has its own transformation transformation and uh, we are going to take that and now let's go ahead and uh, implement this function in the cpp file as well and if you are not understanding the real purpose of transformation let's just wait for a second it will all make sense in a while so what we are going to do is we are currently not going to do anything in our process node function but instead just go ahead and uh, kind of uh, try to basically mm, go through like understand how the recursion works so we'll go to through the number of children that node has got which we can access by saying node and uh, m num children this m is because of like convention it's like hungarian notation so yeah it's basically number of children and uh, for each of those children we'll just process each of those children as well so we'll say node uh, children and we'll get the index i here and uh, we'll pass it the transformation as it is currently however the transformation that we are receiving in the process node is actually the transformation of the parent so we are going to rename that to kind of make more sense so i'm going to create here parent transformation uh, like that and we are going to go here and paste that in the process node function so this is represent the transformation of the parent and we are going to create another matrix which will represent the transformation of this actual object so uh, yeah you can see and we'll use that and of course this actual object means that we'll need to multiply the parent transformation by the transformation of this node and for actually using this function we'll just call like uh, uh, pro actually no transformation we'll call process node here and uh, we'll just pass in our uh, scenes root node for starting and since the root node is the root node which means it has no parents for the transformation we'll just pass in the identity matrix that does nothing if we multiply anything with it so we'll just pass in the identity matrix matrix here by saying one for the like the diagonal value which is the identity matrix so after we have got an identity matrix here that is pretty much it we have got uh, our process node function done and uh, yeah we are we've got the use done of course the actual implementation is not complete now if you go ahead and check out what node has you can see it also has an m transformation which is an uh, asymp matrix so we need to have a way of converting that matrix into glm format now for converting that i have used this here so we basically there is no easy way to convert you have to go through like each of the actual values in like uh, uh, you know the a, you know asim stores it in a different way than open G, uh, than the glm format and we need to have our matrix in glm format so we kind of have to hard go at each of the values here and you might want to make this a utility function but we are only using this one so i'm not going to bother doing that and we basically like go through each row and column and set that to the correct value and uh, you can see see that uh, like it uses a1 a2 kind of notation you know the actual uh, asm1 while this uses a different kind of notation open gl is like uh, glm is like a normal array so we basically we use this code for setting that and this transformation by default was nothing and now what we are going to do is we are going to set transformation uh, to 
uh, our pattern transform uh, pattern transformation multiplied by the transformation that we calculated here by converting the this nodes transformation so we will basically do that and uh, for each of the children we will ba basically pass this as the parent transformation and that is uh, pretty much it and if you want to see kind of what uh, each node possesses uh, you can see if you open this up you can see that we have got the name and uh, each node might not have a name and some nodes have got a name and uh, in here you can see that uh, uh, this transformation is like relative to the parent then we have also got an actual parent S and uh, we have also got the number of children and the actual array of children and uh, we have also got the number of meshes and the array of meshes so we are handling children and uh, transformation as well we don't care about the name and this parent is just like opposite of the children and we don't really care about the name yet and uh, uh, we are going to handle the meshes in the next video and this metadata that we have got it contains a bunch of stuff that we don't really care that much about like if I open this up you can kind of see it's got a bunch of stuff here uh, like it can have a different kind like metadata can have a uh, different kind of properties depending on the file format we don't really care about that so the only thing we have got left is uh, handling the actual meshes so that is what we are going to stay uh, do in the next video so stay tuned for that and make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss that and share this video with other people as well and bye